Hello everyone, Lenovo has just released a new update for Legion Space and the controller firmware to Legion Go. Updating is super easy, just connect to Wi-Fi, open up Legion Space, and the update will automatically start. Just a quick note, if you followed my tutorial on using DDU to install the AMD driver, no need to worry about this latest update, it won't interfere with anything. After the update, both Legion Space and Legion settings are working perfectly as usual. Now, let's take a closer look at the Legion Space update. Lenovo hasn't released any official notes, so we're still exploring the changes. The most noticeable addition is a new gyro settings menu in the controller section. This menu brings options for a new mapping type, sensitivity adjustments, and the ability to reverse the XY axis. I'll keep testing to see if there are any other hidden improvements, but for now, these gyro settings are the only new upgrade for customizing your controller experience. If you have found more new features, let me know in the comments. Today I'll be testing a game with the new gyro settings. I've set both the display and in-game resolution to 1000p. For AMD Adrenaline, I'm keeping my settings as usual. AFMF2 set to high plus quality, with AMD Radeon image sharpening at 100%. Since my resolution is set to 1000p, I'm skipping integer scaling, as that option only works at 800p. Let's see how it performs. Today I'm testing Call of Duty, Black Ops Zombies at 1000p and medium settings. I've also taken the case off the device so it feels less bulky while using the gyro controls. Since this is my first time ever using gyro controls on the Lenovo Legion Go, I want to hear your opinions on the performance. Let me know in the comments section. Provide Overwatch. Strike team. Psych office mission priority one. Get to him before Omega. Bring him home. That wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching.